Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's feeling good. I haven't posted in a while. I've been dealing with demons, and evil is stupid, so they don't. So they they just don't know when to give up. Anyway, I have a question I'm going to put to you. But you know the thing about questions is, a person will ask you a question, but the real question they should ask you, they never do. So let's see if you can follow this and see if you know what I'm getting ready to put down to you. Okay, here we go. If the doors to heaven and hell opened at the same time and you didn't know what they were for and there was a rich man at one door, a rich white man at one door and a poor black man at the other door, which door would you choose? Okay, now I'm going to paint the narrative. The black man is asking for food. The rich man tells you, I'm blessed. There's a party going on inside. Which door would you choose? Okay, follow me now because this is going to get tricky. Okay. In the Bible, it states that in Revelations, that Jesus had hair like lamb's wool and feet the color of burnt, burnt bronze, indicating that Jesus was a black man. Now, the Bible states, and I believe it's Matthews, I believe it's Matthews 19, verse 24, it states that a rich man has as much chance of getting into heaven as a camel has of going through a keyhole. Now this is where the question makes no sense. And it is the wrong question because the doors to heaven and hell does not suddenly open at one time. The doors to heaven and hell have been opened all your life. Why? Because you're going to be judged on your deed. So the doors are already open. The real question, the real question is, how far have you gone inside? And have you gone inside so far? You can't even see the door anymore. That's the question. Can you still see the door to get out? Now, like any prison doors, the door is designed to lock you into your decision. The door is designed to lock you into your decision. You're not going to just suddenly the door is going to open and you're going to go running in. You're already inside based on your decision. The most you can do is turn around and try to run back out. But the reality of the situation is some of you have gone in so far that when you turn around to run out, you won't know which you won't know which direction is in or out because you've gone in so far and this is the message that god has wanted me to give to you to give to you today so it's no it's more of a question or it's more of a warning than anything else so uh hey um, you can ignore what I say, or you can try to find a way out. Have a great day and a nice day and, and subscribe. And, um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Talk to you later.